Hi, I'm Mark Sacco. I'm here with the Mitsutori Quick Vision Active Machine, and I'm going to explain how QVPAC camera filters can help enhance really difficult to measure edges. So let's get into it. So when we say camera filters, we're not talking about mechanical filters put in the light path. In QVPAC terminology, a camera filter is a mathematical process applied to the image to manipulate the image. It's used when edges are extremely difficult to measure and the image has to be changed so that the edge can be measured. So to get to the camera filters, simply take a measurement. So in this case, I will click on line. I'm going to put a box tool up on the screen, but I'm going to use multi-click plus because I want my box tool to be fairly large. So in this case, KiwiPack took the measurement, no problem. I don't really need filtering here. However, I'll use this edge as an example anyway to show how the filtering works. So notice that I clicked on edit, and the box tool window opens, and under the advanced tab, here is where my filters are. So by default, QBPAC will use no filter. However, I have the choice between median, averaging, Gaussian, and morphology. Each filter manipulates the image differently. In the case of median, it's really good at removing small particles like dust or something like that from the image. If I select median and then click parameters, a new window opens where I have rows and columns. These rows and columns will determine how much the image is affected. The higher I make these numbers, the more the filter will be applied. The maximum for both rows and columns is nine, and the value always has to be an odd number. Once I set these, I could click preview, and QBPAC will show how the image is affected by the filter. And notice how all of the small pieces of dust are removed because I'm using the median filter. The next filter, I cancel out of here, is averaging. And averaging has the effect of blurring the image. So if I cancel out of here, this here, and let's move this box tool down just slightly, and edit the tool again, switch to advanced, switch to averaging, click parameters, and once again, I'm going to use nine rows and nine columns. When I click preview, you'll see how the filter is applied to this image. And notice how this edge is blurred slightly versus where the box tool ends. Because again, averaging will blur the image. Obviously you would ask, why would we want to blur the image? If you have an edge with a bunch of bright and dark flecks or specks in it, like salt and pepper kind of view, averaging them both together could result in a more gray, even edge, which is easier to measure versus the bright and dark splotches. The Gaussian filter is similar to averaging, but specifically it removes a specific frequency from the field of view. So once again, if I use nine rows and nine columns and click preview, notice how it changes the image. The last filter is morphology. If I click on parameters, morphology has far more parameters than any other filter and it certainly affects the image far more than any other camera filter. So for type, opening and closing, that affects the brightness and darkness of the image. Closing will make the image brighter, opening will make the image darker. For this first example, I'll choose closing and then I'll switch it so that you can see the difference. Shape is pretty straightforward. Rectangular is chosen when you have a straight edge, Ellipse should be chosen when you have a circular edge. Rows and columns, just like the other filters, the greater you make these values, the more the filter will be applied. However, the other filters, the maximum value is nine. For morphology, the maximum value is 11. And then iterations is how many times is this filter applied over and over again to the same image. We'll pick a very large value just to show how this will change the image. So now when I click preview, notice how the filter completely removed all of the scratches, all of the dust, everything from the image. If I click opening instead, again, that will make the image darker. If I click preview, now notice that it took all of the dirt and dust and scratches and actually enhanced it versus the opposite of closing. So that's how the QBPAC camera filters work. Don't forget to check out our other how-to videos, and for more information on this and other Mitsutoria products, go to mitsutoria.com.